Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Hut Roulette, and today we're bringing you episode number six. So, last episode we lost by a huge margin. That was ridiculous. Six to one loss. We lost five players because of the five gold margin. And I read a lot of your comments and people were saying that if I lose a game, I should only lose a maximum of one player. So, that's what I'm going to do from now on. Instead of the margin, I'm just going to lose a player for every game I lose. I think that will make it a little bit more exciting, I guess, instead of losing half the team almost and not being able to replace the whole team. But here's how the team is looking. Ryan O'Reilly, Mike Fisher, Tarasenko, Purcell, Philpula, and Raymond. I literally just put the best players in the first couple lines. Toulouse, Shen, Gallagher, as well as Andrew Ghetto, Wilson, and Bennett. So that's how the offense is looking for right now. As well as the defense, it's really messed up. Hemsky. Pecorine, Shattenkirk, these guys are going to have to bail us out, especially Pecorine and Shattenkirk, Shruba, Koniker, Soderberg, and Tanev. So, I'm really looking forward to picking up some defensemen or increasing that win streak. So, let's start up a game and see what we can do. Alright, so we're starting up this game. He's got Kenny Malkin on his team, Lemieux. I think that was Eric Lindros as well, but uh, we're going to see what we're going to do. I changed the jerseys up a little bit, uh, brought them back to the Saskatoon Blades, which... Uh, it's also in my pack ultimate team, but let's even score right here. Oh, off the crossbar. All right, we're going to have to get some goals here with this team with Malkin on his team. Jesus. Oh, no, and there's the first goal. I think that was Patrice Bergeron tucking him in one, which makes it one to nothing. This guy isn't too good, but uh, we'll see what happens with this game. What's going on? My goalie stuck. Are you serious? What kind of bullshit is this? Come on, Pecorini, get back in net, get back in net. Alright guys, that is the end of the first period, and so far he's playing a very hard defensive game, I guess. He is ragging the puck a little bit, but what can I really do about it? But it's still one to nothing. first period, I think I can still score a couple goals. Decides on the area behind. Angled to Jamie Benn. Up the wing with it now. Chip to Shattenkirk. Turned right away with the poke check by Conacher. He's in front with it. Good job with the poke check. Oh my god. Alright, alright. I'll take the loss for this guy. And I think this is my 100th loss in my hut record, but I'll take it anyways. There's not much you can do about these raggers, but it's now... Well, the game was lost 2 to nothing, which is unfortunate. Let's check out the amount of shots we got that game. 14-11 in shots. 9 minutes on attack to 9 minutes. And you know what? I thought it was actually not too bad of a game in terms of fairness. I thought I could have... Uh, done a little bit more to score some goals while he was ragging the puck. I mean, it's not too hard to control a ragger, but uh, anyways, it's just unfortunate. 14-11, let's lose a player, and we'll also choose one as well. All right, so we're on the random.org, and now we're going to choose a player from random on my computer screen right now. So let's see who gets off the team, and then we're going to buy a player right after. So let's randomize, and whatever the first one is, we have to choose to get rid of on the team. And it's going to be the first line right wing, so let's switch over and see how our team looks. Switching back onto NHL, let's see who our first line right winger is, and oh man, I already see it on there as well. I know I have Mike Fisher on the center spot in the first line center, and then I have Ryan O'Reilly on the left wing spot, and who we have here is Vladimir Tarasenko that we're getting rid of, which is a little bit unfortunate, but at the same time, I don't mind too much that uh, we're getting rid of a better player than most people know about. I want to use players that people have not tried out before, so we're going to save those changes, and now we're going to go buy that player. So we're going to put that buy now minimum back to 50. But let's go into the players here. Let's choose the 14th player. Let's see what we get. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Redmond on the Colorado Avalanche. I've never tried him before. But what I'll do is I'll buy him out for 1,100 coins. I probably could find one for cheaper. But we're going to throw him onto the team. See where he fits in. Alright guys, so as you guys can see, it did work out a little bit. We put in Hepsky into the first line right wing spot instead of the Tarasenko that we had right there before. But we were able to pick up Hepsky because Redman filled up that first line left defensive spot pretty well. And even though his stats are a little bit uh, questionable, I guess, uh, we'll see how our team does. I apologize about last game. I want to play another game right now for you guys because of that game. So hopefully you guys don't mind that I'm going to continue a second game here. 
So let's see what we can do and hopefully win this game. Alright, so we're beginning our game against an Ottawa fan. He's got Krejci, Ryan, and Phil Kessel on his first line. So, let's see what we can do. Hopefully score a couple goals. Alright, here we go. Come on, come on, come on. Pass it on front. Shoot! Shadden Kirk. He's in front of the net for some reason. Shoot! Phil Pila! Fisher! Ah, oh, Anderson. Nice saves. Oh, beautiful deep. Beautiful deep. Backhanded on net. Ryan O'Reilly! Shoot! 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 Are you serious? No way! And he got a penalty. All right, that makes up for it a little bit. Oh, we're not letting up with the pressure here. Shoot, Purcell, back. Shoot, Tanev. Okay, back down, back down. Calm it down, back down. And shoot, Filpula. Oh, Anderson with another glove save. Come on, and slap shot it. O'Reilly, yes, top right cheese. Eleven minutes in, and we score one goal. That makes it one to nothing, guys. We're getting that win. Oh, Talusti, no, no, Talusti, oh, no, Andrew Ghetto, right on front, and there's another cross creaser right in front of the net, Colin Wilson makes it two to nothing, beautiful goal, hip him, oh my god, he just dodged a bullet, oh, okay, Bennett, pass it up, pass it up to Andrew Ghetto, around Daly, around Niskanen, let's see what we can do, Andrew Ghetto's probably one of the worst players in my team, and he's still deking around, come on, come on, come on, come on, in front, Come on, Raymond, Raymond, in front, Andrew Ghetto, Andrew, what? Andrew, what? How did he score that one? Through the body, down the five hole, three to nothing, oh man. Oh my goodness, threading the needle, making it three to one, not a bad pass by him. Gotta get that goal back, guy. Oh, what is Bristol doing? Purcell, what are you doing, buddy? Oh, what is Purcell doing? Purcell! Alright, guys, so that is the end of the first period, and this is a game to be proud of. 14 and 4 shots, 420 time on attack to 212. But we're gonna keep going here, see if we can keep extending that lead. Oh, uh, come on, yeah, put him in the spin cycle, put him in the spin cycle! Go, Gallagher, shoot! Oh, beautiful Deke. O'Reilly, it's all you. Breakaway, buddy. Breakaway. And we're going to cut in front. Shoot. And there is a n another goal. That's a fourth goal, making it 4 to 1. Nice missing tooth right there by Ryan O'Reilly. Oh, and he scores a goal. A trickler, which makes it 4 to 2. I don't know exactly who that was, but. Still, we gotta make sure that we don't lose the lead now. Oh Jesus, that almost went in, but that is going to be the end of this convincing win. 4-2 to two of this game, and let's see how many coins we got, as well as how many shots we got that game. 26 shots on that one, to 13, 9 minutes time on attack to 7. So, we're gonna raise that buy now minimum up by 1,000, and choose the 26th player. See you guys there. Alright, so we're gonna choose the 26th player here, but look at that, we got our... 250th win this game as well as our hundredth loss which is kind of funny but a little bit of a coincidence but we're gonna put that buy now minimum up to a thousand choose the 26th player and hopefully we can pull a defenseman a really good defenseman all right so let's uh search the page and see what we get so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. Henrik Sedin is going to be our next pickup. An 87 overall. I'm excited about that pickup. Let's throw him onto the team. So there it is, guys. There is the full team so far. And I took out Andrew Ghetto and moved back in Henrik Sedin into the first line. As well as move, moving down Hempstreet to the fourth line. But I want you guys to post in the comment box below, of course, some team suggestions of how this team should look, how the lineup should look. And maybe I will just use one of your suggestions in the next episode and give you guys credit, alright? Anyways, that's about it. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys later. Bye. I know there's a lot of guys that just like playing with left-handers, but sometimes you have to try out a line full of right-handers as well. Uh, and all these guys are right-handed. Claude Drew, Eric Lindros, Jari Curry, a lot of obviously legends uh, right off the bat. But these guys just play so well.